The reason I came to get the scan is that I have family history of heart disease. Uh, my dad passed away from a heart attack. My grandfather passed away from a heart attack. All of my uncles have had heart attacks on my dad's side of the family. And ultimately, I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go from a heart attack. I'm really glad that I got the scan because they found some things that I need to be worried about in the future that haven't shown any symptoms yet. Today's experience was 100% worth the time and effort. In fact, I'd actually say it was priceless. Mm, the man you just heard from is in his early 30s, which is usually a prime time for good health. But there are other factors. According to the CDC, about half of all Americans have at least one risk factor for heart disease like family history. Don't count on symptoms to tell you something is wrong. Usually the first sign of a heart attack is the actual heart attack. Advanced body scan can find heart disease, lung cancer, and other life-threatening health problems in the early stages when treatment options are more effective. As founder Steve Marler shares, the scan is actually a lifesaver. Steve, millions of people die every year from undetected diseases. And it's not that we couldn't detect them. People might not know about the technology to take advantage of to do that. Uh, also, they'll go to their, their doctors and get their physicals and they're like, okay, there we go. The problem with that is many doctors, it's not that they're not smart or not doing their job. They don't have the rest of the story. Basically what your primary care docs and most docs are trained to do is the metabolic side of the body, you know, which is inside the body, test the blood, hormones, that sort of thing. But if you have an early stage disease like cancer or heart disease, not only are there no symptoms, there are no metabolic symptoms in most cases. The physical scan, we see those inside the body. That's why it's so good. Don't stop going to your doctor. Don't stop getting the metabolic test, but you need to add to it the physical exam that we do here. Yeah, all right, with advanced body scan, what types of things in particular are these scans looking looking for. Again, you know, heart disease and cancer kill more people than all other, all other diseases combined. And they're long-term progressive diseases. You don't just wake up one day and you have all of your vessels in your heart blocked. So wake it, up one day and have just a mass. Right. Yeah. So it takes time to build. We can see those at early stages. So we have a program. You get a baseline scan and then every year you come back over a period of time. We watch to see if there's any changes. It can be detected early and if it's detected early, you can get it fixed early. Yeah, the outcome can be very different. Yes, All right, so how it works is you get inside, or you lay on this table right here. Uh, people who are concerned about being claustrophobic, it is not at all. It moves, takes the image. Those images are sent to your radiologist and they look for things of concern. Yes, so every, every scan we do is read by a board certified radiologist. And the difference in the scans we do as opposed to, you know, a lot of people have heard of these type of scans, but it's usually a diagnostic scan. We're scanning a wide area looking for small telltale signs of disease. So it's a different scan, it's a different read. You get a report after the scan is done that talks about everything that's seen, if there's any findings. You also get a calcium score of your heart, the vessels around your heart, and you get a consult with one of our medical professionals. So they'll go over it and then recommend it, but we always say take it to your doctor, provide this information, because it is your key to care once you get it read. Yeah, you know, we focused on heart disease and lung disease because, you know, they're the top killers. But I actually have a friend who came in here who was having major back problems. So she's thinking it's obviously something wrong with her back. And what they found out was she has diverticulitis in her intestine, which nobody had ever said anything about that. But that's what was causing the back pain. So she was able to address that. All right, if there are some serious findings, what's the next steps for people? Obviously, the next step is to get with your doctor. Our medical professional is going to discuss what they see and what needs to be done, and then they will assist you in getting the care you need. In our neighborhood right here in Bel Air, Texas, there's a lot of great docs. Yeah, you have a lot of great stories, too. Uh, a lot of people, we rely on symptoms to tell us something's wrong. And as you said, don't rely on that because it usually means it's, it's too late in the process. But you have a lot of people who are skeptical about getting a scan. Some of them even saying, I'm in perfect shape. I'm young. I'm healthy, right? I have no family history. And one of the things that warms your heart the most is to know that they went ahead and got the scan. They found something, but they were able to come back and share the outcome. I have a dear friend that does a lot of help with us in, in getting these testimonials filmed. And his name is Brandon Loveless. And he and I talk all the time about the feeling of, of meeting someone that's been through the process of early detection and getting it fixed. Without exception, they're in tears and they're thanking us profusely. That's what gives us the passion to do this every day, to drive harder. And people say, you're, you're scaring people. No, we're not scaring people. Maybe we are.
but I'm so passionate. They need to get this scan. And if Scared I have to scare you about to it. get in here because you have no symptoms and we're always taught no symptoms, you're, you're, you're healthy. You can, you can have early stage of cancer or heart disease and have no symptoms. I see it every day. And it's not a stretch to say that a lot of those people where you film those testimonials, if not for the scan, might not be here. Many, many cases. I, I, can, I can talk for hours about that. All right, at the end of the day, all of us must go at some point. That's just the way it goes. But if you're not ready to go, <laughs> part of that is taking care of your own health and also being able to detect, as you said, things early so that you can extend your life. Longevity is one of those things that we can do better today because of the technology, but the technology doesn't work by itself. We have to get to that technology. Yeah, that's an initiative. All right, I just want to say an amen to that. Not now. Not scaring people, saving people. Advanced Body Scan has a special offer for Great Day Houston viewers. If you're one of the first 50 callers, you will receive the couple's heart and lung scan for only $199. This is an excellent price for two people. To get peace of mind and make an appointment, there are several ways to get in touch with them. You can point your camera phone and scan the QR code on your screen right now, and that will take you directly to their site. Or for this offer, you can log on to Advanced Body Scan dot com slash great day Houston. You can also just call their office. That number is 833-411-7226. Again, 833-411-7226. And finally, you can text the word scan to 21000.